everybody, welcome to Baby Reviews with me, your host Jack, and tonight we have a beer, another one from Omnipolo. This is magic number 666, the number of the beast. Uh, clocking in at uh, an appropriate 6%, although I kind of feel like it should be 6.66% for, you know, consistency's sake. But this is a black, man Hello, start again. a black mango IPA, which sounds awesome, right? Uh, according to the website, Omnipolo's website, uh, this is not a style that Hedrick Fenty is fond of. Uh, they wanted to kind of make a beer that was literally the, the most oxymoronic black IPA you could make. So if you were to close your eyes and try it, you would think you were drinking a glass of mango juice, like a really fruity IPA. So let's see if we can hold him to his word. You know I'm a big fan of um, Omnipolo, and I think they can do no wrong most of the time, which is uh, usually true to be honest. With most of the stuff I've had, I've been absolutely knocked, blown away by him. So let's see what we have, I suppose. Hey, ooh, that's interesting. The glass is broken on the top. Oh, that's a shame. I hope the bottle wasn't broken when I got it. Um, very odd. Very odd indeed. Right, I'll try and pour it out, actually. Ah, oh, that's, that's a shame. Looks like the bottle might have been cracked in transit. Um, we'll pour it out and we'll see what we've got anyway, if it's uh, a disaster. We shall soon find out, I suppose. Uh, into my nice little half acre casing glass, because I haven't used this in a long time. But it does pour. Surprise, surprise, for black over here. Pitch black with a nice little kind of um, khaki coloured head on there as well, which looks pretty nice. Um, looking at it from kind of next to a light, uh, it's got kind of ruby tinges around the edge of it as well, which is kind of cool. So let's get in there and give it a good old smell. Mmm. No, I think that was probably just cracked but not leaking because it smells pretty good, this. It's definitely got like a, a dank kind of piney note to it. Um, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure if I'm getting like the close your eyes and you wouldn't think it's a black IPA thing. I'm, I'm closing my eyes, I'm getting pine and resin and like an, uh, a roasty, um, oh, I'm gonna say kind of roasty coffee aroma beneath that as well. Definitely got a punch of hops on the aroma though. I'm actually a really big fan of these black IPAs that are really piney and resiny and utilise the dark malts a lot. And some of the best black IPAs I've had have been like this. Uh, uh, Wookie Jack, Firestone Walker is a great example of one. So actually I'm not a big fan of that sort of thing. But I'm getting a lot of roast on the aroma. So I would suggest it's not kind of literally like a, um, a dyed black IPA. I'd suggest it's got some roasted character to it. Mmm, interesting. Cheers everyone, let's get in there and give it a try. Lovely in the lacing on that, by the way. Yeah, it is. I would definitely say this is one of those really, I mean, whatever you want to look at it, even like a massively amplified stout hop-wise or a black IPA that's got rose character to it. It's definitely that. It's not the kind of close your eyes and you think it's a mango juice kind of beer. Definitely got big, piney, resinous note. There's dry, roasty, toasty, bready kind of darker malt notes in the back of the palate, less of the chocolate I suppose. Quite a defining bitterness as well, it has a little bit of kind of the ashy taste in the, the back of the palate and there is like an overlying note of just, I'd say it's quite underlying mango. It's not like the juiciest, fruitiest IPA or black IPA that I've had. But I still really like these kind of like really roasty, um, I guess like a massively amped up hoppy styles. I like them so it suits me down to a T. Um, yeah, the mangoes don't come through as much as I thought they might do, actually, which is a surprise. Neither on the nose or the palate. And usually, when I'm with do fruity beers, they chuck fruit at it. And I mean, tons and tons of fruit just to make sure there's that flavour there. But I like this. I do. I think it's a very well accomplished and rounded beer. The sort of black IPAs I like, which is cool. So it's ticking in the boxes for me, to say the least. Go out there and try this one. It's definitely interesting, and it's worth a try to see. If you want to look for like a good example of kind of the more hopped up amplified stouty slash roasty malt character I black IPAs, and this is one to go and have a try to. In fact, that bitterness is quite defined in this. Cool artwork as always from Amin Polo. Always impressed with what they do, and I, I do like this. This is very tasty. So, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And until the next bear review, cheers everybody.